So every practice I start or end, I, I like to mix up a bit, but I start or end every practice with a small area game. So I have this full ice practice with 15 kids out there and I shrink it down to what they've been doing the last four or five years. And it goes back, I wanna see the puck movement. That's number one. Number two, I wanna see guys without the puck moving to areas to receive a puck. You can't just stand there slamming your stick on the ice and the louder you slam it the more likely you think you're going to get it. That works in men's league. I've seen it in men's league. It does work, but no one can skate there. These young kids can all skate. So you're trying to teach them the, the game because you think about it. Once you get out of your own zone and get to the neutral zone, what happens? The ice is now tiny. It's from the goal line to the blue line. It's a small little area. There's 10 people in there, 11 if you count the goalie. So you've got to move around, find open ice, try to make plays. So that's what small area games is all about. And then it goes back to the same idea of confrontation. You've got to feel comfortable in contact. Uh, I'm not suggesting there should be full on hitting or anything like that, but you've got to understand that when you have the puck, you might get knocked over. There's a chance that the ref might not call every penalty you think you've been screwed over on. And parents, this goes for you too. It's going to happen. Not every ref's going to call every single infraction on your son or daughter. So get them to get you. So when they get hit, boom, they get right back up or even better. They're ready for it. They absorb it, take that energy and then keep moving away from the player that's trying to take the puck away from them. So, I mean, the small area games, I do it, like I said before, at least every practice uh, before and after. There are some weeks I'll just have, uh, you know, uh, let's say the kids don't have a game that week or something. We'll have a full hour uh, small area games practice. And also, I, I, you got to take my word for it. Look at NHL teams. Watch them at the end of practice, what they do. They go to small area games. So if NHL teams are doing it, if what I would call myself and maybe others, I uh, wouldn't, but I will, a good coach, are all going into small area games. Who are we to suggest that small area games for you nine and under isn't right? Just think about that. If I was uh, you know, asking for tax advice, I'm not telling you the tax advice I need. If you're an accountant, you tell me what I need to do. Same thing with a doctor. I'm not telling a doctor what I need. These people know, including myself, so just understand it is for the benefit of your player. They're not trying to screw them over.